Hi, <laughs> I'm just making a video really quick about, uh, you know, I, I think I've landed on a name finally. I love Dark Souls. I really love Dark Souls. I love the the spiritual element to it, even though it's a fucking video game. Like, like it's, there's, it's one of the reasons I really love Zelda games, too. It's that there's like a spiritual uh, feeling about it, even though it's in a video game. <laughs> Uh, maybe that sounds crazy, but um, I don't think it is. Uh, my point is, so I kind of landed on this name, and I, I, I have, I have a feeling like I keep, I, I've cycled through tons of names. I'm like looking for it, but I landed on this name, Firekeeper of the Vegan Mig Temple, <laughs> um, and that's not an item on a menu um i i chose firekeeper it's from uh, it's from dark souls but uh and it's and it's sort of this priestess looking um character but i think i i just like what it seems to represent it's someone keeping the fire you know and in that in that sense i and i thought of maybe light keeper or um, another kind of name sort of like this, uh, but I, I thought Firekeeper was sufficient, um, I, and uh, the reason I chose fire is because fire represents, um, a, like, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's more than a spark, you know, and it's like, it's not, um, exactly, it, it, it can, it can represent, uh, the light, it can represent the hope, um, it can represent sort of a beginning, um, and so, uh, you know, the, the, a solution, um, a, a resolution. So it, it has all these sort of uh, meanings to it, and uh, I think being a keeper of, of a fire in this way is very cool. Uh, and that's one reason I loved it, so that's one reason I chose that. Um, what is a vegan mig temple? <laughs> um, so, obviously it's, it's, has something to do with veganism. Um, a mig temple, uh, that's the part that, that might be interesting, um, for any MGTOW is, uh, I mean, one, one thing that I hate to think about and see is, uh, MGTOWs that are struggling in their life uh, and or just not doing that great even though they are a, a really intelligent uh, you know philo philosophically sound person someone who has a good head on their shoulders and yet they're still struggling or even if um, you're, you're MGTOW and doing well um, I, I think that there being a spiritual uh, center some some type of uh, uh, land where uh, you can go and and have the, have a practice with with your uh, with your beliefs and thoughts and and someone and and a place to share and MGTOW's mostly been an internet phenomena but I, I would actually think it would be really cool uh, and of course I've made this intersectional because and for a reason uh, there is a purity that I value um, that comes with actually particularly this intersection uh, veganism and MGTOW uh, so what I what I'm interested in um, is finding uh, other fire keepers, <laughs> essentially. I mean, that's really what uh, what my dream is. I think you know, and and what I mean by other fire keepers, I mean like I will. I would like to one day have a physical. Uh, vegan McTemple, um, where 
more or less um, vegan MGTOWs sort of can merely go here. I, I, there, there can be, and, and this is sort of what I envision, like a courtyard or a main hall, and then rooms. And it, you could stay here indefinitely uh, for very low cost and gain gain wealth or, or whatever it is that you're desiring, just a spiritual community. Uh, and and, uh, and and enjoy the benefits of being surrounded by uh, other vegan MGTOWs. Uh, it would really be kind of religious, to be honest, uh, because we'd all be more or less agreeing on uh, these central issues. And... Uh, I suppose anyone who participates would be considered a, a firekeeper, <laughs> uh, because that's what it really is. It's it, you know that's the I suppose you could just call him a priest or a, a cleric or something boring like that. But I you know I I think firekeeper makes good sense because uh, it's really about keeping that uh, you know and fire represents purity. It's and so you know. Um, there's another meaning, meaning, you know, it's a, it's about keeping this purity and, uh, what I'd love to see is other men who want to keep the fire with me and, uh, and gain wealth and influence and power and ultimately, uh, you know, even better than, than merely just building uh, a vegan McTemple um, in in one place. Uh, I would love to see them all over, all over the planet, uh, in, in such a way that actually it would be the case that so you you could uh, go to one and live there, and then at any given moment you can basically just snap your fingers, you know, and you're like, hey, um, do you guys have a room over on, in Portugal or wherever the fuck the other, <laughs> another vegan MIG temple is? You buy a plane ticket, go there, stay there, and, uh, so you always have a home everywhere on the planet, no matter where you, and you just go wherever you want, you know, and you'll always have a, a sense of, uh, financial, um, uh, security. Um, the obvious, uh, earmarks of whether or not you're allowed in the door would be if you're vegan and a MGTOW, but, um, uh, the, uh, you know, the, the, the biggest one would actually be that I, I really hate psychopaths so um psychopaths would be barred and I, and I can I, I I can figure out who that is um so I I have the uh a scar on my brain more or less that lets me detect psychopaths just by being in their presence for moments I I just can instantly tell now and uh that comes from a hard lesson uh very painful lesson, and, um, so, yeah, but in the future, uh, there would just be, I mean, we would literally be MRI screening everyone at the door, um, to find, uh, you know, you're not a psychopath, uh, and I, I actually, you know, I'm not even a purist on the, I'm not even a total purist on the vegan, um, whether or not you are a vegan, uh, but as long as you're staying in the um, Mig Temple, then you would eat vegan. So, even if you're not, if you're just a Mig Tao and you want to take refuge here, uh, as long as you're willing to eat vegan, as long as you're there, then you could be welcome to stay. 
Um, so, yeah, uh, those are my thoughts, and I really hope uh, to make this dream a reality. Uh, I think that the first, the first place that I'd like to set up a vegan MIG temple is in Thailand. Uh, I, I imagine there's already a lot of MGTOWs in Thailand, um, but I think it would be great to eventually have them all over the place. Uh, if you are um, interested in being a firekeeper, uh, please, and please uh, contact me. Uh, just you can leave a comment or something like that. Maybe I should give you guys an email. I don't know. Um, but uh, yeah, you know, I would love to uh, pool resources to make this a reality and uh, get more uh, more men into uh, this uh, project uh, that hopefully will span uh, for uh, much longer than I'm alive even. It would just be great to have uh, some uh, sanctuary uh, some place that uh, there's a collective and we aren't bothered by outside forces uh, and uh, we're able to freely uh, do vegan MGTOW shit <laughs> you know I, I mean it, it would just be great to have that community and not have to watch your mouth you know I, I, and part of it is I, I know there's a lot of MGTOWs out there who still actually I'd say most most MGTOWs still cover their face and uh, so if you could just show up here and not have to filter yourself I think it would be a happier kind of place to live at and uh, um, and if you're uh, and if everyone here is eating vegan um, we can put that contention behind us and uh, not have to think about eating animals uh, so yeah and and again um, when I get this sort of project rolling um, if you're not a vegan and you're a MGTOW you can come and eat vegan and uh, maybe who knows you might find that you enjoy that lifestyle anyway it can be quite fun to basically survive on avocados and coconuts. It, it's more fun than you'd think. Uh, so, yeah, um, that's my thoughts. I hope that I'm. I hope that I take this seriously uh, because my. I'm so lazy. I'm just lazy. It's like I work like ten hours a week. <laughs> So I don't make a lot of money. Um, I I have my own place and everything. I have my own bike, <laughs> Mo like a motorbike. Uh, but I don't work a lot. I'm just fucking lazy as shit. So, um, but yeah, you know, I, I hope that I take it seriously, and I hope that I can attract some people over time. Um, I hope when I start working again, because I'm on. I've been on vacation for about a, a month or two, and I have a month of vacation left. Uh, so I hope when I start working, I still keep making videos, and, uh, yeah, um, if you think you'd like to keep the fire, just, you know, help, help me, uh, rise the fire. I, I want to see more MGTOW faces. I want to see more, uh, guys out and out, you know, there, there was a, I'm not sure what the, what it should be, but there was a movement a while back with atheists where they, they uh, because it says in the Bible there's only one sin that's unforgivable, and it, it's that if you sort of blaspheme against the Holy Spirit, and there was a, there was a movement, there was a movement of uh, atheists going on video just to say, I denounce the Holy Spirit. <laughs> you know, more, just intentionally blaspheming to ensure, yes, I definitely... Um, want to make sure that you think there's no hope that I'm going uh, to join your religion because I'm I will be destined for hell no matter what so I, I, I would love to see the this MGTOW this in a MGTOW form where um, you know we're starting to come out 
uh, of the closet uh, and publicly, you know, uh, commit public. That's really what I'm I'm looking. That's what I want to see. That's the future of MGTOW is that we're not just hiding. It, it's that ultimately we commit and uh, and and enjoy uh, speaking freely because it's, it's frustrating. It's so annoying. It's, it's, uh, it's oppressive, you know, it's, it's just, it's oppressive. It's the same kind of oppression that atheism has dealt with for far too long, where the society as, as a whole, uh, condemns you for basically speaking about who you are and what you believe. And they, they're, they'd rather insist that you just shut up and uh not speak up and it i had enough of it i had enough of it when i was just coming out as an atheist and now that i i realize with migtow it's the same it's just the same fucking bullshit and and it's 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 annoying and so i want to give uh i want to build i want to help build a foundation for refuge for MGTOW so that we can so that even if your foundation falls out from under you we catch you and make sure that you don't fall all the way to the bottom because some group didn't accept you you know what I'm saying I want us to be able I mean genuinely I I want to I want to take over the world you know what I'm saying? It's like we we should be on top of the world and and be a benevolent force. You know, and that's why I'm incorporating uh, veganism and MGTOW because even um, even meat eaters uh, aren't denying that uh, that vegans are more virtuous than they are, even if they don't say there's a moral obligation to go vegan they recognize that at least vegans are more virtuous and we should be aspiring to put the most virtuous the most just the most compassionate in charge of everything our, our this system of money ruling is a mistake it it, it, it enables psychopathy to be uh, the status quo because psychopaths are really good at getting money and money means influence and power and we should be deconstructing that now and putting justice and compassion uh, and, and virtue at, at the helm. Real, real justice and compassion. Like, uh, not a theocracy, more like the League of Shadows or Batman <laughs> ruling. That's what I'm talking about. So, uh, if you want to be a firekeeper, yeah, you know, if you want to keep the fire with me, please, uh, let me know, and maybe we can uh, collaborate or something. And if not now, uh, later. I'd like to do this before I turn 40. I'm turning 31 in uh, like 20 days or something, 25 days. So, yeah, uh, hit me up. Uh, like, comment, rate, subscribe. Thanks. Bye!